huge grocery haul. Just picked up some groceries from Walmart pickup. And then I had four things Instacarted from Sprouts. So I'm gonna, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna start um, and then there's some stuff that that are already in the pantry like our Diet Cokes um, some protein shakes that Jacob got a Braylon uh, some Roarin waters from I think Capri Sun um, okay so we have some Dave's bread I bought this a while ago, but I never got to try it um, because I was doing keto. So since I'm not doing keto, I am going to try it this time. We have some mug cakes, brownie in a mug. I have been obsessed with these. They are so, so yummy. Um, some maple syrup. What is this? Some wholesome medley. Jacob got that. Some sugar-free vanilla, some ketchup, hi, some baked beans, mushroom soup, go eat your burrito, baby, um, some diced tomatoes, some tomato paste, it's not focusing, okay, more of her mac and cheese. I don't know why it's not focusing. So we got some country gravy mix, some yellow potatoes, the mini baby ones, some eggs, some frozen pancakes, because this is what Bray eats in the morning. Um, we got three bags of broccoli florets, the steamable packs. So easy, um, convenient. We got a head of lettuce, a pack of Roaring I can't even talk. A pack of Roarin' Waters. Say that five times fast. We got some Lunchables. Bray loves her Lunchables. And then I wanted to try this one out because I've been seeing it um, at Walmart and then I see it at Target. So I'm just like, ugh, I guess I'll try it. Um, and then we got some mushrooms down there. And then we got some Brussels sprouts. Um, I had to pick these up from Sprouts because Walmart did not have any. Uh, let's see. This chopped Caesar salad kit is the best. It's so good. We eat it all. Um, me and Jacob. And we got some green onions. We got some green beans. We got some go for Bray. Okay, um, so we got two lobster tails, and this we got this at Walmart. Um, th this is actually really good, surprisingly. I was kind of skeptical about getting lobster or any seafood from Walmart, but it's really good. Um, Jacob got some turkey burgers. Um, we got two white onions, some avocados. We haven't gotten avocados in a while. Some bananas. Um, some red wine for a recipe and then this is like another little snack thing for Bray. Um, we got a green bell pepper for a recipe. We got some garlic, fresh garlic for the potatoes actually. This is how I make um, my potatoes. Um, what else? Two things of ground turkey meat. We got some Cheez-Its. More of the medley stuff. Um, here we have a chuck roast. This is such an easy dinner to throw in the crock pot. This is what I had to order from Sprouts. It is just two fillets of, I think it's halibut. Um, wait. Should I tell you? Um, oh. Yeah, halibut. Two six ounce uh, fillets. And then I got this at Sprouts too. Um, this is just short ribs. 
I make a really good um, red wine braised short rib. So that's why I got the red wine. Um, Tri-tip right here is salmon. And then we got some Italian sausage as we make some. Hi, you look so cute. Let me see. Let me see your outfit. Oh, that's so cute. I can tell that you picked it out. <laughs> um, Italian sausage because we make some meatballs, which are really good. Um, we have been having chicken fried steak a lot lately, so we got some more cube steak. And um, some regular steak. These are just New York strips. And then we got some pork chops. And then he got, I don't know, just like some frozen dinners, I guess, that he can take to work. So he got that one. Then he got grilled chicken and broccoli alfredo. Another one. And then this one, grilled chicken pesto with vegetables. And then this was a grocery trip where we had to get all of our toiletries too and household stuff. So we got some detergent, toilet paper, and oh my gosh, that's some, that's a lot of paper towels. Um, but I think that's everything we got this round. And then later in this video, I'm going to include a recipe that I make out of something, I'm not sure what, um, from this haul. Okay, so tonight I'm cooking, uh, what am I cooking? Beef short ribs, but I'm gonna braise them. I'm gonna, hi. I am going to, um, Braise them in red wine. Stop. And, um, and what else? And beef broth. I'm going to kind of show you how I do it. I'll leave the recipe down below. But right now, I'm just going to put some oil in my Dutch oven. And this has to cook for a couple hours so I have to brown everything and then I have to put this in the oven for like two and a half hours so I'm gonna start on this I have to wait until this is like super hot so I can get a good crisp on the short ribs and then I saute some onions and garlic and that should be it, but I'll walk you guys through how I do it. Okay, so it's been like a couple minutes, so the pan should be hot. I seasoned these already. get a good sear on these short ribs so just to get like a really good crust um, let me bring you a closer they're sizzling and then once they do get a good crust on them I will flip them so this I'm gonna flip this one, that one's got a good sear. I need new tongs. Yeah, we need the ones without the rubber on. Yeah. I hate those ones because they split. Mm -hmm. Do we have regular ones? Mm -hmm. So the ones that I flipped are the ones that have a good sear on them. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder and some onion powder. Mm -hmm. 
they're browning really nicely. Okay, I am taking the short ribs out, placing them on a clean plate to rest. And then I will dump in my onions and garlic. And then saute this until the onions are translucent. Smells so good already. Next, I'm going to drop in some flour to kind of thicken it up. And this is in the onions and garlic mixture. Then I will drop in some tomato paste. Mix that around. And then, whoo, I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit and then I'm gonna add in the wine, my red wine. Stir that. And then wait until the wine kind of thickens and bubbles. Okay, so I'm back and it really thickened. So let me just fill you in up close and it's like really bubbling. That's perfect. And let me show you the consistency that I'm talking about. Um, so when I put it in, it was really runny like wine is but if you put it over heat it will thicken and it will become more of like a saucy consistency so that is exactly what we want um, and I will put in my short ribs at that point oh the baby one there we go it's a wine sweet. Okay. Now that they're all in there, I'm gonna drop in some beef stock, um, beef broth, whatever you want to call it. I might need to do some more. Um, I did a little bit less than half a cup, um, or a little bit less than a cup, but I think I might need to put in the rest. So I'm not even going to measure it because we don't need to, we can eyeball it. So we want to fill up the pot with the beef stock. Um, this is like all I have, so I'll just do that um, to like about halfway because we are going to braise the short ribs. You're not going to fully submerge them and boil them. Um, we are just going to braise. So that is about it. Just kind of move that around, kind of mix it on up, and then. I'm going to go get some fresh herbs from my fridge. Okay. So I have some rosemary and thyme. Just going to place that in there. There we go. That one kind of looks out of place. Let's just stick it right there. And then this is going to go in the oven. Oh, that's hot. I'll have Jacob put it in the oven. Um, <laughs> that looks bomb, dude. It's hot, though. 
but this is gonna go in the oven for two and a half hours um, at 350 and then once it's done I will come back okay so it's almost done mashed potatoes these are so good I didn't have any hi <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> I didn't have any regular mashed potatoes. Sorry, I just have to get this going. Um, so I did these baby Dutch yellow potatoes, if it'll focus. Um, so I just did whatever. How many ever that was? And then um, how to put this down. But this stand that I have you guys on is not the best at all. But I, what is dropping? Um, so I am just sauteing some Brussels sprouts to go with it. Um, I made some mashed potatoes and I used heavy cream and butter. Definitely not the healthiest, but such a good dinner. Um, I checked on the short ribs and they should be done. I think I can take them out in like five minutes once these are done and then dinner will be served. Just did an area like that. looks so good. On the planet. Wasn't it so good? Hello. It was bomb. Hello. Um, this hair is crazy Hello. and my skin is crazy. Stop. Hello. Are you kidding me? Because they yeah, right just hormonal breakout. But such a good dinner. Oh, no. This TV no. is so loud. I'm I have the remote right here. Thank you very much. But thanks for watching this grocery haul and recipe um, recipe video. Um, hope you liked it. Um, let me know if you tried the recipe. Tag me in your pictures if you put it on social media. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.